Let's review it. Yeah. Hello, welcome to another That's Just Joe toy review video thing again and uh, yes it's another Doctor Who one and to be honest this year it feels like it's been very very little Doctor Who stuff obviously with the lead up of the 60th anniversary but I'm sure once we get there and into series 14 with Shooty Gatwa as the Doctor the Doctor Who merchandise is going to be crazy. And today we're taking a look at supposedly in this box is the 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver from the 60th anniversary and uh, yeah I have to say character options were not prepared uh, for this. They were not prepared for the amount of people that wanted this. They initially sold them at San Diego Comic Con at the Doctor Who booth and then it's an online exclusive and they sold out very very quickly and there's a lot of upset fans out there who haven't been able to get their Sonic. But don't worry, Character Options has said they are going to be doing more, but it'll take several months before they get more of these. But anyway, without further ado, let's look inside the box and <laughs> there it is, just straight out of the box. There we go, the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver and this boy looks chunky. So looking at the packaging, uh, it's really nice packaging. You've obviously got the online exclusive label uh, down here. And then you've got uh, uh, with lights and sound effects, features extending and opening emitter, uh, the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. And uh, on the back, you've got a picture of the 14th Doctor, 10th Doctor, Mr. David Tennant. And you've got a picture of the Sonic Screwdriver with the new Doctor Who 60th uh, diamond logo. Um, it's a nice box. I really, really like this. I'm surprised this isn't covered much, but I guess if we're trying to save the world, less plastic is better. So I'm just going to get open in this box and see what it does. Oh wow, that was that was too easy to take out. I literally snipped two of those plastic string things and there it is, out of the box. That was that was very easy. Good job, character. <laughs> uh, there's some safety tape around it on the chrome especially. But hey, I I really like this. This is kind of neat. Now we've actually not seen this Sonic Screwdriver in action, so it's quite interesting we're getting this before a new trailer or seeing it showcased. Uh, but the announcement for the 14 Dots of Sonic Screwdriver was like a car advert. It was quite funny to be honest. But the only time we've actually seen this Sonic Screwdriver, like in real life, is David Tennant. That one set photo of him, like this. You know which one I mean. Oh, if it's extended. Oh wow, that's that's cool. <laughs> Oh wow, it's lighting up already. So it does already come with batteries in it, sort of demo batteries, so maybe it is best to replace them when you can. Uh, but this is... I really like this Sonic Screwdriver. And obviously it's a tribute, being 60 years, it's a tribute to all the Doctors that have come before, and the Master, I'll get to that in a minute, but it's definitely a tribute to those Doctors. So you've got this middle part, which is a lot like Matt Smith's Sonic Screwdriver, the rubber band in the middle. This sort of marble in the middle is definitely David Tennant. And then the emitter itself, well, the extension, that's pretty cool, man, is a lot like Matt Smith's once again. The blue is obviously David Tennant. And uh, yeah, there's some sort of similar aspect to the TARDIS in the middle. I do wonder if the new console it's going to look similar to this sonic screwdriver bit in the middle. And then the bottom is the master bit. This is a lot like the laser screwdriver where you can twist it and it does... Ah, oh. oh it does twist. That's cool. I don't like to talk about it but I did a laser screwdriver review when I was like 12 or 13. It's the most embarrassing video I ever did for YouTube. Hello it's me again and welcome to a review on the laser, the master's laser screwdriver. The master laser screwdriver ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's enough of that. So, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna press it once and see what happens. Okay, that sounds nice. That's cool. So it's got a little blue emitter in the middle, and then obviously you can see it at the top. Um, but mine's completely blue throughout. I've seen some reviews online that say they can see a bit of red, uh, but there might be a reason for that. And then obviously you've got the push-up button, which is also the button to emit it, but you can push it up and it locks into place and you can still press it. This is a nut, this is a good sonic screwdriver. If you press it twice, sort of does this charging sound. If you press it three times, it does a louder sort of emitter. Press it four times. Ooh. I like that. One, two, three, four, five. 
Yeah, it's doing some sort of burning sound and it flashes. So there's lots of variations with this sonic screwdriver and I love the bit in the middle that emits as well. You can see the two little bulbs but that's all the way around. Now it is a bit flimsy when it's extended. You're probably best using it down because when you push it up it doesn't really lock into place as you can see. It's like a whisk isn't it? Like I need some eggs or something. I think for $29.99 it's not bad, especially when you get the chrome effect, you get the sort of extension here, you get the twisty bit at the bottom here. And there's something interesting about this Sonic screwdriver that's not in the instructions. It can change colour. So thanks to at Crispy Content, he did a video of how to change the colour setting. And it's pretty straightforward, to be honest. So you just literally twist the bottom off your Sonic screwdriver where you put the batteries in. You hold down the button a certain amount of time as well as holding the emitter, and it'll do this noise. So do one beep, so that is blue. And then if you do it longer, okay, that's a lot of beeps. There's your red setting sonic screwdriver. And there's sort of greeny yellow, I guess, but that's cool, and it does this sort of scanning sound. And then it just simply twists back in, and you can be on whatever setting you want. It's much quieter with that case on. But I, I really like this. So the chrome effect's nice, it just feels nice to hold, you know? Um, but I love the emitter, and you can also flick it out like Matt Smith's, uh, but you have to lock it into place. But again, it's just a little bit... That's a bit flimsy, that. So when you're spending $29.99 on this, and also waiting many days, it's a bit disappointing that this doesn't lock into place properly when you're kind of swinging it about. If you want to role play it, just kind of goes back into place, so it probably is better to use it like this. Now I have to admit, I don't actually have any Sonic screwdrivers anymore. I sold my toy ones ages ago. I had the two uh, Universal Remote Control David Tennant and Matt Smith ones, and I sold those way too cheap, because I saw the prices today and I was like, what? So it's cool to have a Sonic screwdriver that celebrates, well, New Who mainly, and uh, for the 60th anniversary, so yeah. And obviously with my Doctor Who shelf behind me, not having a Sonic on it, What's great about this is that you don't need to buy a stand for it. It will just stand on the shelf on its own. So you don't need to buy a nice stand for it or for it to lay down. It stands up pretty well and yeah, I'm very happy with this Sonic Screwdriver. I think it's really, really cool. But again, just the, just the flimsiness of this. I don't know if it's just mine. Uh, but it's just it's just a little bit flimsy uh, for my liking. But hey, it's cool to have something from the 60th anniversary, apart from the Ant and Deck lookalike David Tennant 14th Doctor figure. Uh, but yeah, character have done a good job of this, and they've also got a regular version coming out, a cheaper version that doesn't have the extension, I believe, or the chrome effect. But this is a very nice piece for a Doctor Who collector, and I definitely recommend getting it when they release them again. Anyway guys, what did you think of this review? Are you looking forward to getting this? Have you got one? Have you not got one yet but you want to get it? Are you going to get the regular version? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you like the video, it really helps me out. And subscribe to the channel because with the 60th anniversary and series 14 around the corner, you know your boy's going to be buying a lot of toys. And we'll obviously be reviewing on here and hopefully maybe do a Doctor Who watch along. I don't know what's going to happen but I'm very excited for the future of Doctor Who. Um, and David Tennant come back as the 14th Doctor. Oh yeah, it's 2008 again, baby. It's 2008. Anyway, take care, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Alan Z. So, thank you for watching. Please comment, give stars, be nice, no rude words. Ta.